Okay, this is the Neo Leader Bat Fan 3. It stowed in this position. It weighs 23.5 kilograms and it's a one person lift. It has an adjustable shoulder strap and two carrying handles. You can also carry it with two people, one carrying each handle. To open the fan, you lay it on its base first. Operate this blue locking pin by pulling out. Hold on to the top handle and then let go of the locking pin until it locks in place. You can adjust the angle of the fan by pulling out and let it locate and find the hole when it locks in place. You can also go right the way over. If you've got a shaft or confined space you, you want ventilation, ventilation in. Okay, before use, make sure you check for any signs of visual damage. Checking the cables are all intact. Okay. This is the battery in here. To test the battery, the test button, push the battery and hold it. And it tells you how much battery power is left in percentage. This is 60% at the minute. To take the battery out, push the silver lever toward the battery, and pull the battery, and the battery will release. Come out. And put the battery back in, line it up, slide it in until it clicks. Each fan will be issued two batteries. One will stay in the fan and can charge. It will have a, um, a three pin circular plug that would plug into the appliance when, it, when it's stowed. The other battery will have a charging station on the appliance that can be plugged into that and will charge while stowed also. Uh, batteries have a running time of 50 minutes with a fan on max speed. Right, before you use the fan, make sure the fan is in position. The bat fan can be used at a distance of 0.5 to six meters away from the opening due to its design. Before operating the fan, make sure everyone has the correct personal protective equipment on, including ear protection and eye protection, and follow all positive, pr positive pressure ventilation procedures. And once, and it will put it in standby mode. You know this when the blue LED is flashing. To put the fan in tick over mode, push the add sign once. And it goes into tick over mode. Okay, when the minute you put it in tick over mode, by pushing the plus button, the LEDs on the front will come on and it'll help illuminate the front of the fan. To increase speed, push the plus button once. And again, if you want to increase speed, I'll turn it down so you can hear me. So each increment is 20%, so 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. If you want to go straight from, tick over 20% uh, to 100%, you push and hold the plus button for more than two seconds. So one, two. And, just and that goes straight to 100%. Obviously, degrees. Decrease speed is the minus button. You could do the same there if you were on 100% and you want to switch the fan off, push and hold the minus button for two seconds and the fan will go like this and switch off and go in standby mode. You can also switch the fan off by just simply pushing the on off button. Another thing to note with the battery, um, the, it would never lose its speed due to the battery power. It would just, when it gets to a certain level, it would just switch off. Okay, so bear that in mind. Keep checking the, the battery level as you go. Um, this here is the fault indicator. So if any of these are showing static lights when you start it up in different sequences, you have to look at the, um, the fault table and see what the problem is. But when it's on charge, the lights will illuminate, go in five, four, three, two, one. So that's normal, that's just saying it's charging. 
To stow the fan, simply pull the blue locking pin out, back in the stow position, return the fan to the appliance, remember to put it back on charge.